Coming up, tomorrow's papers, but first, the row that is rocking the sporting world. Yes, the Paris Olympics was thrown into chaos today after a female Italian boxer was forced to quit her match after just 46 seconds, surrendering to an opponent who had previously failed testosterone and gender eligibility tests. In extremely rare scenes, Italian Angela Carini was forced to quit the match in under a minute after Algeria's Imane Khalife landed a serious blow to her face. The Italian knelt down in floods of tears in the ring after the fight, appearing to refuse to shake Khalif's hand when the decision was announced. Karini said that she quit because of intense pain in her nose after the opening punches. Following the fight, Karini's coach said, I don't know if her nose is broken. I have to speak with the girl, but many people in Italy tried to call and tell her, don't go, please, it's a man, it's dangerous for you. The fact a female boxer was forced to compete against an opponent with sky-high testosterone, who has previously failed eligibility tests, has drawn angry criticism from J.K. Rowling, the best-selling author, and even Italy's Prime Minister, Giorgia Meloni, who said, I think that athletes who have male genetic characteristics should not be admitted into women's competitions. Not because we want to discriminate against anyone, but in order to protect the right of female athletes to be able to compete on equal terms. From my point of view, she says, it was not an even contest. Well, I'm delighted to welcome former six-time Scottish boxing champion, Gardner Moore. Gardner, thank you so much for joining us. Was Angela Carini put in unnecessary danger today? Yes, I believe so. And mm. I have to agree with Prime Minister Maloney that this contest never should have gone ahead. And that if her opponent was found ineligible in the 2023 World Championships due to elevated testosterone and an XY chromosome, that it is not fair to include her in the Olympic in the Olympics. Well, that's right. I mean, if you have an XY chromosome, that would identify you in scientific terms as a biological male or akin to a biological male, plus the high levels of testosterone. Um, how much of an advantage would a male boxer have against a female boxer physically, would you say? Um, for me as an athlete, I have trained with men, I have sparred with mm. men, and I am always aware of that strength disadvantage that I have being mm. female. In scientific terms, I think 162% was the strength difference that, um, wow. that has been agreed upon. But that only applies to punching power, not bone density or muscle fiber, lung capacity, heart capacity. All of these things play into it. Um, Gardner, what is the worst that can happen in a boxing match between a biological male and a woman? Um, I mean, death is the worst outcome that can happen in any contest. Really? And mm. we, well, yes, we have seen, unfortunately, quite a few deaths in the boxing ring. Mike mm. Towell in 2016 was somebody that I knew personally. So that should tell you that it's not so much a case of losing a sporting event. It's case of potentially suffering a life-altering injury. Mm. Uh, how would you feel if you were in the ring competitively with somebody that had biological male characteristics? What would be your emotions uh, if you were facing such a competitor? I would think that this is not fair and mm. that as an athlete, it's not my responsibility to ensure that fairness. My responsibility ends when I step outside of the ring. And in the case of the Olympics, I think the IOC has failed these women. I think their governing bodies have failed these women. And I wonder why there is pressure on these women to take a stand and to protest instead of on their governing bodies for questioning why this was allowed to go ahead or on the referees for saying we can't ensure the safety of our athletes. Uh, women's boxing is a growing sport. It's hugely entertaining. Uh, what is the mood among your fellow female boxers about this kind of fight? When 
the IOC changed its guidelines in 2016, a number of us were concerned and we all had these conversations in locker rooms that mm. if this happens, this is the end of boxing for us because we just can't compete. And there are certain things that you can't overcome with experience. And one of those would be the advantages conferred by male puberty. So no matter how skilled a female is, she cannot be a man of equal skill and experience. Mm. It's just not possible. Um, so this is something we have spoken about. Gardner, this fight has become one of the most notorious fights in boxing history. It's, it's like the rumble yeah. in the jungle, but it didn't last very long, did it? Less than a minute. I understand you've, you've watched it back. Uh, what did you make of it as it played out before your eyes? Um, when I watched it, I watched it three times and I watched Karini's body language going in and she looks as though she knows what is happening. And I watch as she mm. takes one of Khalifa's shots, which pushes her back. And the first shots she takes to the side of her head, those are the shots that tend to hit you on the legs as well. So you kind of take a few steps and think, okay, I'm all right to carry on. And I think maybe at that point she realized that she couldn't overcome that strength disadvantage. And as a boxer, if I had landed the same kind of right hand that Khalifa mm. landed, which caused Karini to stop the contest, I would think, okay, this is time to step in and end it because I know that, that she's hurt. Uh, Gardner, it's been a privilege to speak to you. Can I thank you for your courage and your lucid you. lucidity, <laughs> lucidity on this matter, <laughs> unlike mine? Um, it's, uh, it's been a really interesting and important conversation. Thank you for speaking up. Uh, former six-time okay. Scottish boxing champion Gardner Moore. I think you'll agree, a truly remarkable and compelling interview. Has the world gone mad? Somebody with essentially male characteristics. We don't have to debate about, is it a man, is it a woman? This is someone with XY chromosomes, with high levels of testosterone, a male physique. At some point, a woman's going to die in the ring. At that point, hopefully, wokeism will die with it. I think the world's gone mad. But look, uh, let's get a statement from the Paris 2024 Boxing Unit and International Olympian Committee, uh, who have said, we've seen in reports misleading information about two female athletes competing at the Olympic Games in Paris. The two athletes have been competing in international boxing competitions for many years in the women's category, including the Olympic Games in Tokyo, International Boxing Association World Championships and IBA sanctioned tournaments. The IOC is committed to protecting the human rights of all athletes participating in the Olympic Games. The IOC is saddened by the abuse that the two athletes are currently receiving. Well, I think it was the female athlete that suffered abuse, which is why the fight lasted less than a minute, but it's all about opinions, isn't it? Next up.